Over the past few weeks, there have been a number of break-ins in the neighborhood. Unfortunately, with everyone at work, all we have to interview was stay-at-home dads. Let's just get this over with. Yeah, I'm kind of the alpha dad in the neighborhood. All the other dads report to me. I man the grill all day, every day. Here, look, my son even made me a shirt. It says, Jack Dad on it, yeah. We interviewed his son. He did not make it for him. He made it himself. Robert, did you remember to get the tampons? Yes, Helen. What about that ointment? Did you rub the ointment in? You know, where the sun don't shine? <sighs> yes, Helen. Yeah, I feel horrible for all those homeowners. They're, they're making out like peanuts. They're, they're getting assaulted, you know. Get it? Assaulted. It seems that none of these dads were taking these crimes seriously, especially the patriarch of the Haddo family. You know, uh, my son, Tom, Tom Hato, he uh, tried to run away from the robber, but he uh, couldn't catch up, you know. <laughs> you get it? Tomato, ketchup, it's a pun. My last name's not really even Hato, it's Buster. David Buster. <laughs> the name's Richard, but you could call me Dick. Our most valuable possessions are being stolen. The things that represent our masculinity the most. Except for, um, having a penis. But these are being stolen from right under our noses. Should I ask what's being stolen? Our George Foreman grills. Do you need a tissue? Thank you. Do you know how to make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie into it. I want this issue back. With the neighborhood dads being uncooperative, we decided to get a fresh perspective from the kids of the neighborhood. Uh, this is my first time on TV. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Hi, nervous. I'm dad. You know what? Come to think of it, the robber has been taking from our house our George Foreman grill. Helen? God, you dropped the darn groceries! It was later revealed that every mom in the neighborhood was stealing their husband's George Foreman grills and burning them. Yeah, it's too bad none of us press charges. Do I enjoy making courthouse puns? <gasps> Guilty. After these interviews were aired, every wife in the neighborhood murdered their husbands. I'm Kaylee Heavey, reporting for Q30.